This piece is called Plankton Populations, and it's a piece that we did that shows the populations of plankton around the world's oceans. One of the things that was important for me as the interaction designer on the piece was to find a way to make this giant screen something that works in the context of the Exploratorium. So we first started with size. We wanted it to be large enough that we could have a social experience around the table so that visitors could gather around the table from different angles and talk to each other about what they were seeing. We made this exhibit here at the Exploratorium to help people see that the oceans are full of plankton and let them explore the different types that live in different places. You can think of plankton as just one big group, but there are actually like millions and millions of different kinds, from the tiniest viruses and bacteria all the way up to big, beautiful, glassy forms. And this exhibit shows not only that every drop of the ocean is filled with these microscopic creatures, it also shows that there's sort of a pattern. There are different kinds of plankton living in different places. And as you move these rings around on the table, you can see what kind of plankton inhabit the ocean at that location. If you want to know more about the types of plankton that are swimming around within the lens, you can open up this guide, and the guide tells you more information about the plankton at that location. You can also see that there's a timeline here that's showing time passing. So this model shows the plankton populations as they change over time through seasons. We're a place where we don't necessarily tell someone what to think or tell them what to learn. We leave it very open for them to make their own observations, ask their own questions. You know, a seven-year-old or a 67-year-old could come and actually use the same model that a scientist used to make their own discoveries. 